Trev, nice to meet you, man. Got you on yeah, DME TV. Appreciate you having me. Yeah, man. Bartet hit me up. Yeah. So I'm gonna pull up. Of course. You know, it's love Appreciate you, you, man. Get love from, you know what I'm yeah. saying, coalition DJs, man. OJ nice. in the game. So, man, can I tell the people, like, where, how you got to, where you from, first of all? Tell well, I'm from Atlanta, from. Georgia. Okay. Born and raised, same house and everything. Okay. You know, I've been inspired by a lot down there with yeah. the music, you know. I think it's important to put your, you know, your feelings, your emotions, what, you know, matters to you and your music. So, just been doing my thing. Yeah, most definitely, man. Hell yeah, man, mm -hmm. y'all, you from a big city, so. It's a lot going yeah. on in Atlanta as far as the arts, period. You know a lot what I'm going on, exactly. Yeah. Arts, acting, it's, it's like the new LA. Exactly. So, um, I mean, kind of tell the people, though, how do you get to a start in music? Like, yeah, so I've well, always been into music as a kid. You know, I took piano, guitar, started off when I was, I think, four or five. Okay. And, uh, you know, as I got older, I got more mature and got more into it. I, over the last couple of years, I started going to studios. And I was like, damn, like, right, I want to start doing this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I started... Started whoring on my own. I, you know, I got Pro Tools. Started off in GarageBand, but okay. now I just, I really got into it and I have an amazing team that's really helped me progress my career and my sound and just everything I've wanted to do. Yeah. So it's been going great. Yeah. Who's on your team, man? Shout them out. Yeah. Got love, I got a man. shout out UED Studios. I got my manager, Unique. Yeah. Already on top of everything. I can shout out everyone. My choreographer, Ra Ra. Let's see. Uh, Regina Love is my vocal coach. She's runner up on The Voice. We got everyone here, Co Coalition, that helped me out with all the interviews. Man, I mean, there's plenty of people. All the producers, Sky Beats, 1201 Entertainment. Man, shout out to all of them. Y'all need to go check them out if you haven't already. Definitely, definitely. So some of, the, some of the people that influenced you to really get out here, make this music, give it to the people. Who are, who are some of them people? I would say for old school type stuff, Eminem. I listen to a lot of him growing up. You know, I think his, his music is really powerful and he's still relevant. He, he doesn't need to release music and he's still, you know, top, I would say in top 10 rappers in my opinion of all time. Okay. In my list at least. Okay. I mean, everybody's gonna have different mm -hmm. legends depending yeah, on of course. when it came, came up, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. everybody that's gonna, gonna differ, but definitely yeah. those, those are some good influences, man, for real. So, um, I mean, what are some of the key factors that help you get to when you was grinding, starting with, in garage band to where you at now? So when I first started going to studios, you know, studios, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks, you know, it's decent studio per hour, but it's like, all right, I went the first time, I went three hours, I was like, all right, well, why can't I just do this myself? So, you know, I went out, got my Mac, bought an interface, obviously started in garage band. I started to learn how to, you know, mix. And then, you know, over the last couple of years, I got into, you know, Logic, okay. which is more than I got in Pro Tools, which is industry standard. And I mean, I mix and engineer my own stuff too, so okay. as well. So I just really, I think, you know, drive and, you know, dedication to what you love. Like, for example, I mean, that's music, so. Right, right. So what are some of the things that motiv motivate you to go harder? Like, I mean, you you here now, but yeah. once you get there, you you have to keep going. You got to go 10 yeah. times harder, 20 times Man, harder. Man, just the love and support. My friends, my family, everyone that's, you know, supported me up in, I mean, I remember like a year ago, just looking back, you know, I was doing good. I was really, good, got some good music out. But I, over the last year, I've been able to travel all over the U.S., Texas, New York, where with some amazing artists, L.A. And it's just been amazing having, you know, the family and all of them support me and invest in me. So. And that's, that's dope, man. That's mm -hmm. actually one of the questions I was going to ask you, like, coming from Atlanta, I don't know your, you know your, your deep background, but a lot of people don't get to leave this city or this state. So, I mean, yeah. how, how was it? just to go out and, and touch these different cities and, and meet these people that you know, are fans of your music. I think it's really, I think it's really important to do that. You know, if you stay in the same city, you stay in the same place, you can't see what the, the rest of the, you know, the rest of the United States, the rest of the world is like. And there are other influences, like, you know, you look at different, like, New York is completely different from Atlanta. Right. You know, the whole, everything from, you know, the rap to the the style is, is a lot different but in a good way. And right. if you can kind of, you know, everyone's influenced by something, but you got to do something that sticks out. And if you can kind of have influences from everywhere, definitely, you can really succeed. Definitely, definitely. So, you, you've been over the United States. You've been to a couple of different states. Where do you want to go that you've probably never been? And I'm talking about some places maybe not in the states. Say, I'd like to do a Europe tour. Europe, Europe. I'd like to man. do at least twelve cities. You're gonna love Europe. I, I was mm -hmm. there. I was, you know, I was living. One of, one of my goals, one of my goals for next year too. Oh man, you'll love it. <clears throat> oh yeah. If you go, man, give me a shout out, man. Absolutely. Trust me. Frank, and I might as well just bring you with me. 
I'll <laughs> be dope, man. I rock with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, man, let's talk about this this new this this new single. Can't go a day. Yeah. I listened to it. I heard it. It's a different type of vibe to me. It is. And I felt like I felt like you were in a, a mood, a type of mood when you came up with that song, created that song. So let's talk about yeah. the single, man. So that single, Can't Go a Day, it's about I would say a lot of the problems that my generation. Faces. Right. I mean, if you look at, for example, Juice World, rest in peace. He was probably one of the biggest inspirations to me that I've ever. I mean, I paid to go to both of his concerts in Atlanta, and he just was so talented. But you look at that, and it's like you know all the drug use and all the problems. So I try to put. I mean, I put emotion to what I'm writing, and I think that I try to you know influence in a good way, right. not a negative way, not about you know. But I think that this generation, you know, has that problem, and I think you know expressing it helps even if you listen to it. Exactly. Like yeah. I can say, when I heard it, I was like, yeah, I had to it's listen different. to it again. You listen to you it really first few times, but then you listen again, you, you start getting that lyrics, feeling. So you're like, whoa. Yeah, it's, it's like, this is you, This crazy. message you're putting out exactly. is, is not what mm -mm. you might hear the first two or three times, but. You not just hear the beat the first time, but right. then you hear the lyrics, it's like, well, this is actually deep. Exactly, exactly. And I wrote all that myself, too. So, I mean, it was, it was really an amazing process to write. Definitely. And uh, shout out to Sky Beats, making the beat to okay. me. I was gonna ask you, man, who, mm -hmm. who you rocking with production wise? Yeah, so I'm actually I'm releasing an EP in the next couple months. I'll be announcing a date soon on my Instagram at Trev T R V E. V me or switch. That's Trev T R V E. But uh, I've been working with two producers on that. Okay. It's a five five single EP. Okay. And uh, two producers, Sky Beats going crazy. He went on Can't Go a Day and uh, Joey the Sequel. Okay. So it's gonna be crazy. Okay. So Looking you, forward to it. You got your you got your team in order. Mm -hmm. I know, Absolutely. I know you coming up as, you know, when you was coming up, what artists that you always want to see yourself make music with, make a collab or even or do a feature song with? I would say Post Malone definitely would be, Post Malone, Post Malone Eminem would be, that'd be pretty dope. I can see Eminem on a remix. Can't go there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, it might happen. Man. Maybe someday. Might see this, this man. So let's, let's talk about the genre of music, man. What what genre do you fall in the I can't even put my hands on it. Man, you know see, what I'm saying? I have people ask me this all the time, and I don't like to like you a rapper. I'm like, kind of like. So I mean, I think I'm very versatile. I mean, I'm working on a lot of stuff that okay. I'll be announcing soon. Okay. I think that you know I can do that more urban side. Like okay. you know, can't go it is kind of a little mainstream, but yeah. at the same time, the lyrics I think are more urban. You're not yes. you're not getting your pop song like Ed Sheeran with you know. Exactly. But I think at the same time, I have that versatility that most artists. You know, don't have or, or struggle to find. I would say you're a musician. You're a musician. Yeah. Musician, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I think I'm, I'm, I'm an artist. I piano. express myself and it's, yeah. you know, it's what I love. And I think that however you do it, you know, there's no right or wrong way, but the right. more versatile you can be, right. the bigger audience you can have, the more you can appeal to everyone. Right. So besides music, what else are you going to venture off into? In so uh, I'm actually, I'm still in college as well. I go to Georgia State, so okay. I, you know, I think that's pretty important. Yeah. And uh, that's one thing I, I promised my family I'd finish. So okay. you now I'm making it work. And I think that, you know, with the music industry, there's a lot of business that most artists don't understand with, you know, whether it be record later, you know, record deals or radio, there's just a lot of confusing stuff. That I think, you know, business degree would be helpful to that okay. too, so. And what, what degree was your major? Uh, it's a major in marketing and a minor in music, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. How long you have left? Probably a couple of years because I I did my first two years like full time, but okay. I'm doing less now because you know I'm traveling and right. finally doing the whole thing with the music. Right. So right, definitely, man. Oh Just yeah. Wish you the best of luck, man. You know, appreciate you having me, sure man. You don't say you knock knock that out because I know your mom's probably. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I already know how that gonna go, man. Oh yeah. So man, for the people that want to really get in contact with you, link with you for a feature. Absolutely. Collab. I'm always down to work. All producers, man. Send me beats, whatever y'all got. I'm gonna check it out. I drop that social media for yeah, yeah. Y'all follow me on Instagram at Trev, T R V E. That's Trev, T R V E. All the links to my new single, Can't Go Day, all on the Instagram, Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, YouTube, you name it. It's on my Instagram. Give it a follow. Appreciate you having me, man.